Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update. This will be 20 to 24 weeks. Um, I'm a bit latchy with doing it because normally I would have filmed it like on a Tuesday but I just haven't had time this week so I'm kind of a bit late. <laughs> so 20 to 24 weeks so I can tell you a bit about what's going on. I've been getting on and I'll show you my bump. It's been a really, really, really quick month. Um, I remember the 20 to 30 weeks with Olivia was so slow um, and this time it's just absolutely flying in. I mean, the whole pregnancy, to be honest with you, it just is absolutely going so, so quickly. You just don't get a chance. Some days you just don't even think you're going to you're gonna get um you are pregnant you know you, you kind of forget you you're lifting things you're you know running around after olivia you're cleaning your housework you're working you know you just don't think you don't stop sometimes to think i'm actually pregnant i mean, need to calm down a bit but you just got on with it um so over the last four weeks i would say things have been quite quiet and that's why i didn't do a fortnightly update because things were settling down so not really been any nausea not really been any like tiredness apart from just the fact that I'm tired you know because I work and I'm a kid and um Olivia who doesn't really sleep through the night so I think most of the symptoms have been like spots I've had quite a few spots I think I spoke about that the last time they even although even they seem to have settled down now so like as the sickness passed i had this really really bad period of spots and they were everywhere and um, there's really sore ones i was getting them on my face but even that seems to have calmed down now i think coming into sort of like 24 25 weeks um after that i've had really really vivid dreams so i'm just like having all the not necessarily nightmares not necessarily bad things just really really vivid dreams that i'm remembering and like i, I don't know if it's because like i'm waking up quite regularly whether it's because i need the toilet or because olivia's waking up and then i wake up and think what, okay, what was that about it was just utter rubbish um you know like people that I haven't seen in a long time people I haven't you know spoken about in a long time or just really really random situations um but really really vivid dreams what else um it's really hard because there really hasn't been a huge amount of stuff obviously you've got like quite a lot of gas i've got get that quite a lot some days um really go to the toilet all the time and then others are not so bad some days i'm really really hungry um and i just feel like i want to eat and then some days i'm not so bad um it really has been quite a quiet month i'm just trying to think what else a couple of times i've had where I, um times where i can't sleep but I'm just so tired that as soon as I as soon as I go to my bed, I'm literally like out for the count unless Olivia's waking me up. Um the worst of it is if I get woken up at maybe like four or five o'clock and then that's kinda me till it's time to get up with Olivia, which is about six o'clock. So sometimes that can make for a very tiring day. I haven't had any cravings, things I'm just kinda eating trying to eat as normal as I can. Um I haven't had any appointments at the doctors. I'm not, um, or the midwives. I'm not due to go back to the midwife till it's the end of May, and this is only like the second week in May. So, um, obviously, with this, your second pregnancy and being midwife-led, you're not getting that same, you know, like you don't see them as much. Um, did I have an appointment with the? Actually, I did have an appointment with a midwife. I did have one. I think it must have been 22 weeks. Um, baby brain. But it, it was really like in and out. It was like urine sample, fine. Blood pressure, fine. We'll see you in four weeks time. <laughs> 
<laughs> something like that. So um, it's been really quiet. I'm trying to think about anything, anything else. Oh, I'll probably like switch off this and, and like remember everything. But I really don't think I've kind of. I, with Olivia, I had really, really bad indigestion. Like throughout the pregnancy, it was really, really bad. I can say that I would say it's just kind of starting to kick in now. Sometimes by the end of the night, I just feel it like burning up in my throat. Um, I haven't really had to take anything for it. Um, I've been like chewing gum during my work if I feel like it's bubbling up a wee bit. It's not really, really bad. Um, I have got a pack of Rennies just in case. Um, I think I've maybe taken one. I really don't feel like it's been nowhere near as bad and the only thing I can feel is because the baby's moving up and pushing everything and everything's getting crushed there's just not that space um, and obviously like you know the acid reflux is coming up but other than that that's not been too bad which is good because it isn't you know that is really really not a nice nice feeling um, it was just awful with Olivia I made you feel sick it's, it, it, as I say, it's it's been a very quiet few weeks because I think now that we're over the sickness and the tiredness, I'm just getting on with it and I'm just trying to get finished. I haven't like gone into like nesting mode. I'm more just like wanting things tidied up and organised before the baby comes. In fact, I'm wanting it done before I finish my work, uh, which is about 12 weeks away. So I'm just trying to get organised for baby coming, kind of starting to pick up some bits and pieces of um, like clothing and wanting to get the baby's room kind of organised and just really, really just feel like symptoms wise, as I say, some days I just don't even feel pregnant. Obviously, I am getting loads and loads of kicks now. Um, it's getting stronger and stronger as the weeks go on. Um, probably feel like a lot of it has been like, like, if I'm moving, baby's quite quiet, but if I'm kind of sitting down, chilling out, then baby will be like kicking about and it's really getting stronger. Olivia has felt it, Craig has felt it, um, it's funny seeing Olivia's face and she won't, I, I keep saying I'll oh, put your hand on, but obviously she's not putting it on long enough for the baby to kick um, now and I think she gets a little like, Oh, I'm not sure, you know, I don't know if I want to feel it. Um, but I'm excited for her um, to see them together. And that, and that is really it. Um, I will say, before I go show you my bump, I have been definitely been getting more, like, pains, aches and pains, um, like, around my hips and my back. and just feel like everything's starting to ache just that wee bit, especially towards the end of the day. Um, sometimes I feel like in my groin, I get some, quite a lot of pain in my groin. Um, I've gone the right side, which is I think where baby's lying. I think he is like head up, like here, just like right under my ribs. And then his feet are really like really down below. So I think this baby is a lot, lot lower than I remember with Olivia. Um, I, I still get a lot, a lot of feelings like really, really low. Sometimes I think they must be like stamping on my cervix, um, like jumping on it and that. I'm definitely getting a lot more aches and pains down below and like moving like in my bed can be a bit like, oh, you have to kind of like move your whole body as opposed to just like moving easily. So that's getting a bit annoying. Um, I'm quite an active person. Okay, I'm not doing exercise, but I'm an active person. I don't like to be sitting down. I'm busy. Um, but I think I'm going to probably have to start just taking it a bit easier the next few weeks. Um, I need to get my medicine ball. I do have one, but the pump's broken, so I'll need to go and get a new pump um, to get it blown up because I think that'll maybe help, especially in the evenings when things are just that bit bit sore. I do get it's it's a lot in the groin area, and then it kind of translates up to like hips, and then in my back some days my back feels sore. It doesn't help that you've still got to carry Olivia about a lot of the time. Um, I I do I. I I do try and not pick her up a lot, but, you know, it's hard not to do it, so I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll show you my bump. It's humongous. I'll put this down so you can see. 
Um, it's definitely getting bigger. Um, it actually scares me how big it feels because sometimes I feel like it's really all in the front. It's really low. Um, I'm getting... I feel like I've got like a football stuck up my t-shirt. Um, and as I say, I think the baby's like heads here or there's hands or something. I can feel a lot of it at the side to the like under, right under my ribs and then like coming down to here. So like I, I think the feet's here. I could be wrong, could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely getting big and uncomfortable and I'm just ready to have this baby, get him out and not ever have to worry about pregnancy again. So I hope you've liked this video. I will link all my other updates below. I will see how we go over the next couple of weeks um, for doing some more, whether it'll be a fortnightly one or if I'll do another monthly one. Um, what's this, 24 weeks? So maybe into like edging towards the 30 mark and then maybe from 30 onwards I'll do some more regular ones as things start to get closer but hope you've liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are new please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you next time bye